India's fashion houses have become increasingly aware of the opportunities created by the diaspora and they're enthusiastically exploring new markets. The Middle East is definitely on the list and so is Africa, as was shown by the Divalicious tour recently. This was a fabulous opportunity to see what India's top designers had to offer, so let's go shopping. Durban has become Cape Town's rival as a destination for top talents from across the oceans. And no matter whether you're talking about sports, entertainment, tourism or trade, this East Coast port city is drawing major names in every field. Fashion was trending recently when Divalicious arrived in Durban, as the founder of the event, Vanita Bhatia, explained. Divalicious started as a very small concept five years ago in Dubai. I decided to create a, something different related to fashion, so I call it a mobile boutique. It's my first time in Durban. The designers that I have brought together are have been with me for the past five years. We do have a lot of Lakme Fashion Week designers like Babita Malkani, Satya Paul, Payal Singhal, Masaba. They are very excited to be part of Divalicious because of the exposure that we're getting them via media and via the fashion shows. They are bringing in Pret, they're bringing in Couture, they're bringing in Indo West. Turn, they're bringing in something that any person in there can relate to. You don't need to be looking out for something specific, but there's something for everyone and that's Divalicious concept. Based in the upmarket suburb of Juhu in Mumbai, Pavan and Pranav Baga favor the timeless over the trendy. We create occasion wear, bridal wear, as and when it comes to our mind and uh, we don't follow trends. We just follow our heart and we make whatever comes to our mind. We don't even follow much of the colours or the palettes going on outside in the market or internationally. I think we've got some uh, yeah, high quality nets, chiffons, georgettes, some taffeta, which is again, at, uh, so it's amazing fabric for gowns and uh, gives a really nice look. Yeah, a lot of laces and uh, that's what is pretty much our collection tonight. Aisha Ajaz has built up an international customer base for her luxury range. While Sanachi Raj has been a leader in popularizing the sari gown. I've been involved with Divalicious for the last four years and this is the first time I've come to Durban. I'm really looking forward to the new collection that I have. It's a very Greek inspiration done with a lot of drapes and capes. We work with a lot of silks and this time we've done a lot of intricate embroidery to enhance the capes. We've done long and short both. Uh, with jumpsuits, tulip pants, uh, with gowns and all of that. So uh, this is what the line is all about, capes and drapes. My label is a little different, it's not typical. It's for the women of today. It's a fantastic meet of East meets West. It's Indian with uh, a flair of Western to it. So it has its own charm, which I think appeals to uh, the women, yeah. Babitha Malkani has also presented internationally. This collection that I finished is called also Artistic Sujan, a right place to be. You know, the art around you, the creation around you. So everything is very inspired by my travels because it's the only time I feel alive. It's very lavender, lilac. The colors are very uh, summery and luxury prep. Basically, they're all uh, pure georgettes and silks with a slight less embellishment. I don't like too much of bling. I like making stuff that's a bit quirky, actually. Nithya Arora has made her mark with contemporary ethnic jewellery. My style as a designer is very cross-cultural. I'm very rooted in my tradition. I love being an Indian and I'm very proud of being an Indian. It can be worn by someone from like 18 years old to like 80 years old, which I think is, is very important. It's classic yet modern. I take inspiration from my roots and from history and from like the Maharajas and the Maharanis and I try to make it relevant to today's modern day woman. I really believe that the real outfit is actually the jewellery you're wearing and jewellery adds like a third dimension to any outfit. Local fashion fundi Harun Hansrot brought his expertise to the event. I've been totally impressed by what I've seen today. I think the Indian garments have got such beautiful colours, textures the beautiful nuances of the embroidery and what's very interesting is that the designers hail from both Dubai as well as India and I think this gives the edge not only to the garments fabrications that's been used but also the silhouettes which makes it quite interesting because it's a show that's moved around it's actually a challenge to see exactly what went on with the country that they've just come back from and try and really show them what Durban is about and I think we've really impressed them local models were inspired. The lovely thing about this show that makes it different is that there's a lot of saris and stuff we need to wrap around our bodies. It's always exciting to have something that just 
covers your entire body. It has that respectful type of look, type of feel. And it actually reminds you of weddings, invitations on these big events, you know, so it's really exciting. We certainly can't wait for the show to start. Luanla and her fellow fashionistas didn't have long to wait, and the evening began with snacks and sweet temptations in delicious shades of pink and chocolate before the audience took their rampside seats. Shah Rukh Khan's wife, Gauri, conceptualized a range of contemporary lines with summer prints for Satya Paul. Individual interpretations of ethnic classics were presented by Payal Singhal, who incorporated florals, while the designer duo of Sanam and Paras Modi favoured geometric elements. Strategically applied embroidery played a key role in Sonakshi's creations for wearers not shy of media exposure. As promised, Babitha Malkani played down the bling while still offering glamour, while Purvi embraced traditional silhouettes. Red and gold were used to make a stunning bridal statement by Pranav Bhagi, who was equally adept in creating an oriental touch or a gown with a cleverly disguised halter neck. Jaya Misra selected dove grey, olive and red for a more formal interpretation of the sari gown while Valian headed in the opposite direction with a seductive series of monochrome sheets. Viewed overall, the ranges presented by the various labels once again showed how versatile classic styles are and how readily they lend themselves to contemporary interpretation. Fusion was also very much in evidence, with the Middle East meeting Europe by way of India. I love the show. I thought it was really vibrant. I love the culture, I love the history, and I love the way they brought little pieces of Paris to the show. Tonight was very exciting for the Durban market. Um, came to see my good friend Babita Malkani and uh, as usual she delivered. Um, everybody loves her designs. I thought the show was amazing, a job well done. Looking forward to more in the future. Garments were absolutely stunning.